This is the second lecture for vector functions of one variable and we are going to discuss the topic limits and continuity of vector functions in one variable. So as I have discussed in my previous lecture that I have a vector function which is f bar t which is equal to f1 ti plus f2 tj plus ft3k. So this will be a vector function of one variable and now we are going to define the limit of this vector function at the point t naught. So the limit of the vector function f bar t at t tending as t tends to t naught is nothing but limit of each component. So it is limit of as t tends to t naught of f1 ti plus the similar way I will write it for f2 and for f3 in the similar fashion. So f3 t of k. So f2 t j same limit and f3 t. So I will take the limits of each of the components as t tends to t naught. Okay. Now, uh, and what is the, how do you def define the uh, continuity in such case? So you know that by continuous function, you mean that limit of the function at the point t tending to t naught is equal to, that should be equal to the value of the function, right? So it is a usual definition that we always use in one variable. So here also we will define limits as in this fashion and continuity will be defined as limit of the function will be equal to the value of the function. So let's see one simple example so that the concept will be clear to us. So let me take a simple example, say evaluate limit of the function t square minus 4 divided by t minus 2 i plus sine 3t by tj plus e raised to 3t minus 1 divided by t k and I want to evaluate the limit as um, that let me write here instead of t squared minus 4, let me just take something different because I want to take t tending to 0. So let me write as t power ti. Okay. And let's find the limit of the function. So we all know that limit as x tending to 0 of x raised to x is equal to 1. This comes from L'Hopital's rule. So obviously the first limit that I'm going to evaluate t power t that limit will be 1i plus the limit of the function sine 3t by tj. I'm going to multiply and divide it by 3. And the last component is limit as t tending to 0 of uh, e raised to 3t minus 1 divided by t as t tending to 0 k component okay and uh, this I'm going to uh, this is nothing but this limit sine 3t by 3t this limit as t tending to 0 is uh, 1 so it will be 1i plus 3 this 3 is remaining 3j plus we know what is the limit of e raised to a t minus 1 divided by e raised to uh, divided by t this limit is, uh, let me just recall it here, that we know that limit e raised to ax minus 1 upon x as x tends to 0. This is just a, right? So this limit will be just what? This will be just 3k. So this is how you find the limit of these functions. Let, let us try one more example. I want to evaluate the limit as t tends to 0 of uh, 1 plus t power 1 by t i plus uh, let me write divided by t j plus e raised to t k plus e raised to t k. So what is the limit of this? Clearly the limit of the first part which is limit t tending to 0 of 1 by 1 plus t raised to 1 by t Plus this limit, I know I'm going to adjust a 3 factor 
and multiply and divide by 3 so that it becomes sine 3t by 3t. So this limit, this component limit becomes 1 as t tends to 0. And the last component is limit of t tending to 0 of e raised to t k. Right. And what do you know about the standard limit? We know that limit x tending to 0, 1 plus x raised to 1 by x, this is equal to e. Right. So the answer for the first limit, this limit, is going to just come e i plus 3 times this 3. And this limit is 1, 3 times 1 j plus t tending to 0, it will become e raised to 0, e raised to 0 k. But e raised to 0 is 1. So this is just k. And this is 3 j. And this is what? This is e i. So this becomes the limit of that function. Okay. That vector valued function. Okay. Now, uh, this can be extended for, for checking continuity. You just have to check whether the limit of the function is equal to the value of the function or not that is just your continuity part so let us define a function f bar t equal to say i'm going to define it as tan inverse 3t divided by 2t i plus e raised to 2t minus 1 upon tj plus t cube k if t is not equal to 0 and I'm going to for define for t equal to 0 I'm going to define the function as say 2 by 3 i plus 2 j plus k okay and or let me remove this k okay and I'm going to say that check continuity at t equal to which point at t equal to zero where we are going to check the continuity. So we it means that we are going to check whether the limit of the function is equal to the value of the function or not. So what is the value of the function? So limit, let me write value of the function means f bar at zero. What is the value of the function? The function at t equal to zero is defined to be how much? 2 by 3 i plus 2j. This is the value of the, this is the value of the function, right? Now let us define what is the, let us find what is the limit of the function. So limit of the function as t tends to 0 is limit of t tending to 0 of each component tan inverse 3t divided by 2ti plus limit of t tending to 0, e raised to 2t minus 1 divided by tj plus limit of as t tends to 0 of t cube k. Correct. Now uh, we know that limit of, uh, what do you know, for evaluating the first limit, we have to be, do some calculations plus this limit is clearly what I just now did is e raised to a t e raised to a x minus 1 divided by x that limit is just a so here it will be just 2 and a j will be there and as t tends to 0 this t cube component becomes 0 so it will become 0 k so I'm just uh, I'm just supposed to worry about this so what I will do I will just multiply and divide by 3 so that limit I'm going to write it as like this so limit t tending to 0 See, what I know at the back of my mind is that limit of tan inverse of theta divided by theta as theta tends to 0 is 1. Okay, so this is like this is like your theta. Okay, so tan inverse 3t divided by 3t and then it will multiply by 3t and originally you have a what? You have a 2t over there, right? So this tan inverse theta by theta, limit that will become what? That will become 1. And this t and t cancels and you are just left with what? You are just left with what? 3 by 2 i plus 2 j. Okay, this is 0, right? 
So I got three by two i plus two j, and that is uh, that is not it is not matching with my value of the function. So value of the function is two by three i plus two j. So the limit of the function is not equal to the value of the function, right? So limit of f bar t as t tends to zero is not equal to limit of this is limit of the function is not equal to the value of the value of the function. So this means that this uh, function f bar is discontinuous at t equal to zero. Fine. Let's take one more example. So I'm going to check continuity at t equal to zero of the function f bar t is equal to sine inverse 2t by 3t i plus 3 raised to t minus 1 upon t j plus e power 2t k. This is when I'm going to define t not equal to 0. And when I'm going to have t equal to 0, I'm going to define it 2 by 3i plus e raised to 3j plus k. And this is at t equal to 0. Okay. So let's check whether this is a continuous function at t equal to 0 or not. So clearly, I have to calculate these three limits as t tends to 0. Right. So let's calculate what is the limit as t tending to 0, limit of the function f bar t is equal to limit of each component t tending to 0 sin inverse 2t <laughs> by 3t and I have to adjust a 2t and a 2t as I have done in the previous problem so that this limit becomes 1 right this entire limit with t tending to 0 becomes 1 t and t cancels here right so you are going to get what you are just going to get a 2 by 3i at the end right plus let's look at the next limit the j component limit t tending to 0 3 raised to t minus 1 upon t j now what is this limit now we all know that uh, this is very standard limit that we use that limit x tending to 0 a raised to x minus 1 upon x as x tends to 0 is nothing but log a right so this second limit which is there it's going to come how much it's going to come log 3 j right and the last limit which is limit t tending to 0 of e raised to 2t k when i put t equal to 0 here and this is going to become e raised to 0 this is becoming one e raised to 0 which is 1 so you just get what you just get a 1 k so the limit of the function is 2 by 3 i plus log 3 j plus 1 k and what is the value of the function given to us the value of the function is here you see here it's 2 by 3 i plus e cube j plus k so the limit of the function is clearly not equal to the value of the function and therefore this means that the given function is a discontinuous function at which point we are talking the discontinuous function at the point t equal to 0. In the next lecture, we will be discussing about the derivatives of vector functions.